How are you? I miss you too. How was your day? Another day close to being home. Very That's true. Really about it. Hey, you. What's happening? Oh, man, it's been a while. <laughs> you doing all right? But like I said, I, ain't, I don't feel bad. Nobody's really sick. They just got the virus. Not that I heard of. Uh-huh. It's crazy watching what's going on around the world, being in here, dealing with the same issues. One plus thing, I guess, is it's almost over. We had less than 80 days for him to serve. And I kept praying, please don't let Rashad get this. And I don't have to bury my loved one before he ever gets to come home and enjoy life. No kisses until I get tested. You better give me a, a test the day that I come home. You're nuts. It's concerning, you know what I mean? And I'm just trying to stay as healthy as I can. I'm still waiting to go over here and uh, see the uh, chronic care nurse. Oh, okay. You know, because I think, I think my blood sugar's been acting up. Uh, Sherman and I are very, very close. We always have been. His medical conditions are bad. I'm having diabetes, and he also has asthma and high blood pressure. This way you can see me and, and know that I'm all right. And I know, know you're all right. Even though I, you know, I tell you that, I don't tell you no word, <laughs> but I know you do. We learned about it through the news. The senior staff, we knew that because of the nature of the facility, essentially being a sardine can, we knew it was just the beginning. It was the tip of the iceberg. More confirmed cases of COVID-19 at the Lansing Correctional Facility. 11 staff... They're not telling us nothing. We're all still going to chow hall. Five, six hundred people at a time. We're all still going to the yard. We can't social distance. And they're basically just acting like it's not a big deal. It was being brought up that maybe we should be taking preventative measures just because of potential threat. And those preventative measures were all essentially ignored, scoffed at. They used to let us have the hand sanitizer, but they said they didn't want to give us that because they had alcohol in it. You got almost 130 people with three 20 ounce bottles. So, you know, there ain't a lot. We're starting to see five to six people falling out daily. Guys just passing out, couldn't breathe. You hear people screaming in the middle of the night, help me. He called me freaking out. You know, people were blacking out, falling forward and falling backward, busting their heads open and their faces open. And, you know, the guard's not really doing anything about it. I'm even scared to the fact if I was having a brain problem or something. Dang, taking forever to get there, huh? They were essentially feeding the inmates misinformation or no information, just sweep it under the rug. I'm watching the news every day, feeling frustration at people not being able to do anything for yourself, so the guys was just fed up. Authorities have arrived to restore order at the Kansas State Prison in Lansing. Okay, please. The guards ultimately got control of the riot around 11 Thursday night. No guards were hurt. There have been several calls asking the state leadership to actually remove prisoners who might be susceptible to COVID-19, get them out of the prison. What triggered the disturbance yesterday? Did it have any relation at all to the operator? You know, we, we don't know yet exactly what triggered uh, the outbreak yesterday. We have um, staff interviewing our offender population, debriefing The day staff. of the riot is the very is. first day that they ever started take, walking around, taking their temperatures, and finally gave them a mask. It was becoming very clear that this was not going to be something that was going to be contained. They got me in here with people who tested positive, but they got positive people over here, negative people. And I, I'm just going to think they know what they're doing, but they, all they're doing is shuffling people around and making it look good and saying they quarantined people, but they're just mixing us all together. Wow. They basically opened our doors and told us that they're going to be giving us a COVID-19 test. And it was a long-ass swab that they stuck in your nose all the way to your brain. I'm the one that found out that he was positive when I spoke with one of the ladies from Ray Entry. We've already done 940 days, 940 days, and we have less than 40. Honestly, right now, this is the hardest this whole time. Before I got incarcerated, I was shot, and 
I lost the laps. Well, it was experience with chest pains. It was just very scary. But I obviously know if anything was to happen, I'm very successful, especially in a place where you don't have proper treatment. To know that I literally cannot do anything to protect him, it makes you feel defeated. You know, and it's... It's hard having that conversation of the worst. You know, that he does have health issues at times, you know, and just to think that, what if he doesn't make it out? Unfortunately, we had a death over the weekend of one of the Lansing Correctional Facility offenders, and he was a man over the age of 50 with significant underlying health conditions. It was the first time in my career that I felt unsafe. 15 years in prison, and I've never felt unsafe. We had countless staff becoming infected. And the KDOC policy has been, even if you test positive, you need to come to work. We're learning a fourth inmate has died of the coronavirus during the outbreak. The prison has been the hardest- I've been knowing him for over 30 years. Let the body cut his hair to me. He was just getting ready to board again this August. All he wanted to do was just go down there to Texas and, and be with his sister and start his life over. He was just hard when he, when he passed away. He was a good dude. He was a real good dude. I always tell myself that I'm going to walk out of here, you know, but it is a fear with this virus that I might not. The governor was considering leasing those that were at high risk. I was hope, very hopeful that he would be one of them. And I wrote her a letter, but I haven't heard anything back from anybody. His sentencing, just to me, was inappropriate for the crimes. They just, three strikes, three strikes, no matter what you do. They didn't care. Everything that was taken from these people added up to $60. I got a year for every dollar. I ended up with a 66 for life. So I haven't killed nobody. I don't even have a weapons charge. It was just uh, street muggings. I was just young and I messed my life up pretty bad, but... I've just been trying to get to my kids, you know, because I've never had a chance to raise my daughters. I just want a second chance. Listen, sis, I am never going to take you for granted, and, and, and I apologize, you know. You know, if I didn't have you, girl, I'd be doing worse than what I am now, you know what I mean? You know, a lot of my friends have passed away, or they have killed themselves, you know, and I'm just trying to make it out of here, you know. I know. My brother has a soul. His soul has been yearning to be free for so long. So long. I think our prison system and mass incarceration in general is clearly broken. Unfortunately, it's costing people their lives. I absolutely think their lives could have been saved. The blood of all six deaths at Lansing Correctional Facility is on the KDOC at this point. We still have inmates and staff members on ventilators. We still have experimental medications trying to save lives right now, as we speak. If I'm the reason my child ends up on a ventilator, I can't justify any job. I kind of just made my mind up. This place has become dangerous for so many reasons that I just can't do it anymore. After 15 years, a sergeant here at the Lansing Correctional Facility is calling it quits, saying the lack of PPE for employees and inmates was the final straw. Department of Corrections Hello, officials. We have a call at no expense to you from Sharper. I just got him yesterday. No, today, by the fact, this morning. I just got him this morning. This paper says positive. I, I keep a good front, but I'm kind of scared. Like, you know, I received a death sentence. 